We are joined from Washington by Jacob Kierkegaard, a senior fellow at the Peterson Institute for International Economics and co-author of Transforming the European Economy. Mr. Kierkegaard, welcome to Bottom Line. Thanks for coming on. My pleasure. Uh, sir, the Greek Prime Minister George Papandreou, his own party, is in open revolt against him. The ruling socialists want him to resign. And this is in the wake of his decision to call for a referendum on the European bailout for his country. He has since pulled back from that. Did the Prime Minister lose credibility when he called for that referendum? I certainly think he lost some credibility in the eyes of the other European leaders because they clearly were surprised as everybody else was about this sudden announcement. But having said that, I have to say that I think what he did by pulling that rabbit out of the hat has actually worked very well for him because he has managed to shift the political landscape in Greece so that now the main Greek opposition party, which has previously been resisting supporting the IMF program, right. have, have essentially declared their political commitment to do so. So yeah. he will no longer only be his own party uh, having to bear the political price for this. Yeah, Mr. Kierkegaard, if the political turmoil in Greece continues, how is that going to affect the bailout plan if there is no formal government in place to implement the mandates? Well, I actually don't think at this stage that even if we have early elections in Greece that is going to be uh, such a destabilizing event because at this point, precisely because Greece uh, recognizes that it needs the money, mm -hmm. if we have new elections, they will be fought under the, uh, with the understanding both from the ruling Socialist Party as well as the main opposition party, the New De Democrats, that either one, either, if either one of them wins, they will proceed with the IMF program yeah. such that the, the actual outcome of the election doesn't matter so much at this point. Well, even if Mr. Papandreou wins today's confidence vote, is he going to have to step aside and would holding early elections drive Greece to bankruptcy? Well, I think even if he wins the uh, confidence vote later today, I think he will only win it because he has made sort of a backdoor agreement to step down uh, pretty soon uh, thereafter. Uh, and I think he basically needs to step down because, as I said, in the eyes of uh, Angela Merkel and Nicolas Sarkozy, he doesn't have much credibility left. Yeah. Greece needs to have a new face to the rest of the world. So, Mr. Kierkegaard, if I might ask you in about 30 seconds, the world leaders attending the G20 summit in Cannes, they resisted writing new checks to help bail out the Eurozone. They demanded sovereign governments first do more to fix their own two-year-old debt crises. How will the refusal to commit more money to the IMF affect Eurozone countries now on the brink of default? Well, I think it will have the healthy uh, uh, effect of putting more pressure on the Europeans to basically put their own house together. Europe is rich, they have the resources, but they have a political problem that they need to fix. And pressure by not committing by the G20 to do so is, in my opinion, going to be quite healthy. Jacob Kierkegaard, senior fellow at the Peterson Institute for International Economics, joining us from Washington. Sir, it's always a pleasure. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye-bye.